I work under the box office uh, and retail comes under that department. So I, even though my main focus is retail, I work with in ticket sales, season ticket sales, uh, season ticket tours. So that's that on a match day, um, I'll have uh, between maybe three and five part-time staff uh, who will come in and help me out. And I'll be obviously on the main tills and then we've got, you know, one of the boys might go down and swap the ball boys. But I will mainly be behind the, the main till doing a lot of shirt printing, going out just making sure customers are okay. If they need any help, um, do you know what they're looking for? If they can't, you offer them something else and you always try and keep them in, keep them talking and just, you know, make sure everyone's happy. You know, it's not always about the upsell, it's more so about the customer actually just having a nice time and actually having a good experience at the club as opposed to making sure you get as much money as possible which I personally think is a little bit wrong. So seeing as I studied marketing my main role was to go into that field but working here and getting the job here my main role initially was to work as a ticket sales or you know, operative and sell tickets and just a kind of a general basis. Then once my manager found out about my background in marketing, uh, she wanted to put me more towards the retail side of things. Just for now, as the person previous had just left, so they needed someone just to look after it for them. And from there, I just stuck to it. Um, and that would have been, I've been here for just over two years now. Um, and I probably started working in the retail side of things, probably around a month to two months after I started working here. The marketing aspect of my degree does come into the retail side of things a lot. You know, you've got to market your product as well as you can. You know, you've got a product there and you've got to make sure that it's, it sells at its full potential and, you know, it looks the best. It's, you know, what price do you put it at? What's your markup? What's your margins? But you've got to make your, you know, you've got to kind of go in the time. You've got to look at other retailers and say, right, that's what they're doing. We've got to do the same. You know, you've got your promotions, you've got your, your graphics you do. We've got a company that we use um, who do all our graphics for us. I thought that our online shop when I turned up wasn't very good, wasn't doing the full potential, so I've built a new one and last year the revenue showed that you know we hit budget. So it's all little things, you know, a lot of people think that retailers going around and putting your shirt back in the right size or it's just restocking out the cupboard when it's so much more. It's it's you know, you're turning up, you're doing your online orders, you're making sure that, you know, one shirt might not be selling well, so you move that from that bit to the front of the shop. All of a sudden people think it's new and it's all about playing with the mind of the of the customer and at the same time trying to know what they want so that when you come around to dealing with suppliers again you get something maybe new in or something the same thing but a slightly different range so it's just with marketing it's so broad and it could be used in so many different aspects of any industry especially in football you know me being a football fan it probably makes it slightly easier because I've been a football fan myself I know what I'd like to wear what scarf I'd like to take with me or so on. Anyone who might potentially be looking at UCFB and not knowing what it is and seeing as I've been there, I've done it. The marketing degree is it's a generic marketing degree, you're studying marketing but it's a football base for it. It's loads of little pockets of stuff which I learned from the marketing and from the little side modules like the finance and the media which does help especially working in and amongst football now. I personally believe the most important traits for wanting to work in sport are a lot of patience, um, a lot of persistence, um, a fair amount of confidence and just not getting shut down whenever you're going to get knocked back because unfortunately it's going to happen. Unless you're very lucky and some people are, um, that you're going to walk into the, your dream job and not have any setbacks and you, you know, you're the number one candidate, they don't ask anyone else, very rarely happens unfortunately. You know, we all have our ideal job that we want to do doesn't quite work like that unfortunately. For me for example I wanted to be marketing executive at a football club and I went for a box office assistant you know which for me I was like oh but it's a football club and now I've fallen into retail which is something I didn't even think about when I left and I'm not doing too bad. I, I really enjoy it at the end of the day you come in to work for football you know transfer deadline day you're getting calls from downstairs in the tunnel saying I need you to print a shirt for me because you just signed this play. It's little things like that which are really cool and it, it's really fun to work in um, so for me, I would say, if you're really into work in sport, be persistent with potential places that you might want to get work experience at. You know, if they knock you back, maybe send them another email a month down the line saying hi. Don't think anything's come up. You know, you never know. Worst thing anyone's going to do is say no. They're not going to shoot you down. They're not going to insult you, offend you. All they're going to do is say, oh, I'm really sorry, we can't. So for me, it's just be persistent, be confident, not arrogant, and just be patient because whatever you might want will come eventually if it's not now. My standout highlights at UCFB um, 
probably has got to be Orlando. Um, the UCFB paid for me to go out to Orlando uh, for three weeks, um, all expenses paid and that, everything, all bells and whistles in. Um, and I was out there coaching the Orlando youth like community group, so it wasn't the actual team, it was like the community, so we'd go out to different pockets of Orlando and we'd coach, I'm not going to say the S word, we'd teach football. Um, and you know they loved it. The fact that you're you know you're an Englishman teaching them football, that you could have said anything. You could have said you, you know you play better with a square ball, and they'd believe you because you're English. And then when they found out that I've got a little bit of background in goalkeeper coaching, I I took their under under 16s and 15s and 14s, I think it was um, goalkeeper coaching whilst the other team trained, and I did that once. And then I think I did it a couple more times after, which was great. You know which. It, it was better for me because I got a bit more coaching experience, which is now on my CV. But yeah, so Orlando was really good. Um, I was lucky enough to captain the first um, in, as well. We won the league in the, in the final year, which was cool. There's loads of things. I mean, I was head of the SU in the last year as well. But it was it was good. You have you know you got the work experience, which you know I did for the original Fantasy Football League, where I just tweeted on behalf of Arsenal. Easy, but it's work experience. I went to Wembley. Um, you know, I worked at Wembley for a month, uh, working in operations, which is where I worked for the England-Scotland friendly, I worked Man United, Wigan, Community Shield, I worked um, a rugby fixture as well, and you're literally there in, in the control room, and you can tell they've scored because the whole room is actually shaking because it sits under the, the, the top tier, and the whole thing is shaking, and then you see on the TV screens that they've scored, so it's loads of different, so I've been managed to look at loads of, so I've done operations, I've done coaching, I've done social media, you know, I've done all sorts, so, um, I couldn't pinpoint one single highlight, um, but you know, third year in itself was was very it was tough work. It was hard work, but it was it was very good. Advice I give to potential first years or people who are looking to come um, to UCFB is just get stuck in. Um, don't don't hide in the corner. Don't you know you might be quiet, you might be shy, but make yourself known in the right ways. I'm not exactly the most confident of people, I especially wasn't when I went to UCFB at all. Um, and then at the end of it, I was doing talks in open age in front of 200 people, which when I was 17, 18, I would never have thought I'd do it. So I'd say, put yourself out there, get, you, get yourself known, make sure people know who you are for the right reasons, get friendly with the lecturers, not, you know, don't, What's the word? You know, don't don't go over the top and don't you know be too chummy with them. But just make sure you have a laugh and a joke. Find out where their football team is. You know, have a, you know get on a mates basis within reason. And every opportunity that there might be, even if it's not up your street, do it because I didn't want to work in operations, but I wanted to work at Wembley. And from that, I've now got my CV that I worked at Wembley. You know, so. My CV now is, is chocker full of work experience, which has now led me to be here. I've got this on my CV now. So in the future, if I do decide to go on somewhere else, I may be in a better position than someone who didn't go to UCFB and didn't get the opportunities because you go to a generic university and they have their companies that they've probably already got affiliations with. Whereas UCFB, there's, I mean, I've left for two years and I get emails probably once a week, once every other week of, something else coming up, another job, another this, and it's all relatively based in sport. Um, and it's sent, I'm pretty sure it's sent to everyone who's left, um, even to myself now, they're sent to me, even though they know I'm in full-time work, but they don't know if I want to look somewhere else or I want to get something else. So I get emails every two weeks and you know that spans from my first week at UCFB is, well, you know, right, you've got, a, you've got this potentially coming available, do you want to go and do it? But at the same time, you've got to put the graft in as well. You know, you can't expect to turn up to 40% of your lectures and then wonder why you didn't get that really good internship in, I don't know, wherever it may be, in Man, in Man United or Arsenal or City or whatever. Um, you've got to put the work in. I wasn't that confident and now I'd say, um, you know, I, I show people around here all the time, I sell season tickets and you've got to be a salesman, which is an element of confidence. I say, put yourself out there, make yourself known, just, be friendly, you know, you may not know this, but you, the weird thing is you probably haven't met your best friend yet. And your best, you know, some of my best mates are people I met when I was 17. So just be social, you know, do all the social events, get stuck in. If you don't drink, it's not a problem. Just go out, make yourself known, you know, and just, just do your own thing. But don't shy away. Just be confident, be out there. And if you're not a sports fan, again, it's at the end of the world. It's just another industry that might interest you.